there are many in the Tea Party movement that you know don't see that uh, issues of faith and, and religion should be mixed with the Tea Party agenda, which is mostly you know for some it's just taxation, you know, smaller government, things like that. Robert Kilmarks is the former director of the Tennessee Tea Party, one of 40 Tea Party organizations in the state recognized by the National Tea Party Patriots. Thursday, the organization announced a move to shut down its efforts and that they had a plan to take up a new project, the Black Robe Regiment, a faith-based network with a political voice. I don't think that uh, by any means that our God would have us you know, just remain quiet in all things in the social sphere. So, I mean, we need to be, we need to be concerned about things that are happening uh, in society. The decision comes almost six weeks after the Tennessee Tea Party was scrutinized for posting a controversial tweet following the retirement of an openly gay U.S. congressman from Massachusetts. Congressman Barney Frank had announced his retirement and uh, the Tennessee Tea Party reacted by saying, good riddance, you perverted sodomite POS. Chris Sanders of the Tennessee Equality Project says he's relieved to see the organization disappear from Middle Tennessee politics. So we knew that they were a bigoted group, but the public didn't necessarily view them that way. When they saw that tweet, everybody knew. So uh, we're delighted that they're disbanding. We think that's a good thing for the politics of Middle Tennessee. Kilmark says the tweet was posted by a staffer and did not reflect the views of the organization as a whole and says the fallout from the comment had nothing to do with the decision to disband. Instead, it was a move to allow more Christian rhetoric into the political conversation. We need to be concerned about how our government is run and electing politicians, you know, that, that are in line with our vision and our values.